At 22 stories high, Trade and Industry Tower is the first government office building to be completed in the Kaitak development area. It has environmentally friendly features like energy saving devices and renewable energy technologies which allow it to use 27% less power than other commercial buildings. The building used the low E double glazing on the facade. The properties of the low E glazing is high transmissions of daylight into the building. It can save the interior lighting used in, inside the building and it can reduce the energy absorption so it can reduce the energy use. There are many daylight features adopted in the building, such as the daylight tubes, daylight sun pipes, solar checking light pipes, and the anadolic light. These features can bring the sunlight directly into the office interior and so reduce the energy use inside the building. The building was commissioned last October. It accommodates different government bureaus and departments and other public service facilities. Apart from the office use, there is a post office in the ground floor where the citizens can buy the stamps and have the counter service. Also, there is a Kitech community hall, so the social organizations can rent the venue for carrying out their activities. Also, there are service counter in the trade and development uh, department and also the Kowloon East Job Center and the labor relations divisions, which serves the residents in nearby. The government's vision is to transform Kowloon East into another attractive commercial area in Hong Kong to boost economic growth. The completion of Kowloon City Sewage Pumping Station will help the future development of the Kai Tak area. When this new pumping station was commissioned in Show Wan Chu, the capacity constraints of the transfer of the system means that will yeast and also the Song Wan cover is greatly reduced. It yeast the sewage overflow concerns and then improve the water quality of the Kai Tak whole channel. Also, it provides some opportunity for the future development in the region. The Building Environmental Assessment Method, or BEAM Plus, was adopted in the pumping station's overall design. The station was awarded the BEAM Plus Platinum Rating of Final Assessment, the first one by a government facility. We have installed a set of PV panels to connect the solar energy into electricity for our use. The electricity generated by the PV panels is about 50% of the annual electricity consumption by this moment station. And also, we installed the first rainwater harvesting system here. So, in general, we save about 12% water for water use per year. The drainage services department will hold open days at the Sha Tin Sewage Treatment Works on October 15 and 16, featuring entertainment and educational programs for the public to learn more about its work in flood prevention and sewage treatment. There will be guided tours, display panels, model exhibitions and game booths. Admission is free.